Today we're going to talk about what to paint when you think you have nothing to paint. So let's get started. People are always asking what to paint, and I think that people think that things have to be really um, monumentous. But um, for the most part, paint what you see. If you're watching this, you probably have a piece of paper and some tubes of paint around. Put them on a table and get started. This was some makeup that was left over from my daughter, and I put it out in the sunlight, and again, used a piece of origami paper to kind of ground things. And like I said, get started. Um, these are, these are a com combination of much older paintings, so my paintings have changed, but the point is, if you look around your house, you will find things, and these are set-up still lifes, but sometimes you just don't even have the motivation to set up a still life, and in that case, I go to the refrigerator. You know, this is just a bagel with some uh, jam on top of it, and it turned out to be one of my favorite paintings, and following that is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I do think that food looks particularly good on a green plate. Let's see, the next one, oh yeah, the donut. I wanted to make a glowy donut. Sometimes I go to the store and we'll just buy food items that I have no intention of eating in any way, but um, that, that I think will photograph nicely. This was a day when I was really at a loss, so I just opened up the refrigerator, took a snapshot, and painted the painting. Just take a clear bowl, crack an egg, put it in the sunlight, and you can get started. Now this is my home, and so I wanted to show you this because this is the regular color of the, my home, and I will look around for shadows and things that interest me. I paint a lot of things that are uh, around my home, and my home included, and I try to look for interesting angles. But what I did here was, you just saw all those gray buildings, and what you can do, because you're the artist, is you can change the color of those buildings, and that's what I did here, because there was a lot of green foliage, and I wanted to enhance that with the, the reds of the buildings. Uh, that's more in keeping with the way the, the color actually looks on a sunny summer day. And I was just intrigued with that weird shadow that happens. Take your camera with you. This was in a restaurant in town, and suddenly the light just hit a certain spot, and it spoke to me. And there's another thing. There's my, one of my color charts. I just put some pears on top of my color charts and got started. Uh, it wasn't fun to do each one of those little squares. I mean, I wouldn't do that on a regular basis, but I think it made a really effective painting. This is just one of those moments when you're in your home and, you know, you've left things awry and then you turn around and suddenly you see it. You think, oh, this could be a painting. When you're really at a loss, look up at the sky. This was just a portion of the sky. But some days you just want something to paint. This was yesterday. I put some liquid uh, dish soap in an interesting jar and got started. I like to do, I guess you could say, pretty simple things. And if you're really, really at a loss, paint your palette. <laughs> This may be a last resort, but it was fun to do. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mask for value, mix for color, and remember, you're never without something to paint. See you next time. Bye-bye.